I just wanted to come up with something that we could do to give back to the community like she really believed in. So John Ozinga started a project to benefit Sharpsville in honor of his wife, and today it got underway. Now that project led to plenty of tears, some of sadness, others of joy. The connection was made because of Tanya Ozinga's big heart, her ability to always see the positive and be willing to help. A dozen roofers got an early jump starting at 8 a.m. There was work to do. Ozinga Roof Systems tore off two layers, placed new felt paper, ice guards, and started pounding shingles. This was a one-day job. This is how we should live. We should help people. People should help people. John Ozinga was doing this job in honor of his wife, Tanya. She passed away suddenly in 2016 from a pulmonary embolism. She worked for the borough and took care of utilities. On the side, she would clean Lucy Gerino's home. She was there for me. I tell her my secrets, she tell me hers. <laughs> Lucy and John said Tanya touched many lives with her Christian faith. So it was natural that when John put this project together, he would pick Lucy. Can I get a hug? Oh, of course. Thank you so much. I'm so glad and so honored to be able to do this. Sarah Day's hauling donated a dumpster. Liberty Roofing provided $2,500 worth of materials. John had almost a dozen workers getting the job done. Lucy is 85 years old. She would have never been able to afford it. When they told me, I said, you are lying to me. You know, my kids told me. And uh, I said, oh, nobody's going to do that. But he did. John believes this type of neighbor helping neighbor attitude is missing in the world. He's doing his part to spread smiles in Sharpsville. And Lucy believes Tanya sees everything. She's smiling down on us. That's what she's thinking. And thanking him for doing it for me. John Ozinga is not done. He wants to do it again and plans to ask people to write in and they'll pick one of the suggestions to help next time.